This is Jim White of Tennessee and joined by Tennessee and colleague John Glennon here and the Titans are starting training camp and uh, certainly they've got a lot of things they want to accomplish, a lot of things they need to accomplish to have the season they want to in 2013. I think it starts, you know, with them, you know, creating some team chemistry, building an identity. You know, they pass out rosters, you know, to fans at, be at the beginning of every practice and fans are going to need them this year uh, because they've got so many new faces. They've got, you know, 16, 17 free agents that are new to the team, not counting on drafted free agents. They've got eight draft picks who will be new. You know, when all's said and done and when this camp's over with, you know, the Titans are going to have over a third of the roster is going to be guys that are different from last year That and the coaching staff. You know, Greg Williams is new and Sean Jefferson is new and they've shuffled some other guys within the building. A familiar face and George Hinshaw comes back. These guys have all got to blend together and be one cohesive unit coming in. That'll be from practicing every day, spending time in the locker room, spending time at the te team hotel, making road trips. Uh, during the preseason. When all said and done, I think the Titans feel like there'll be one cohesive unit that needs to play with more of an attitude, needs to play with more of a swagger. And uh, I think the offensive line is certainly going to be one of the tone setters of this group. And I think that's going to be one of the keys to the season, how they develop. Yeah, I, I think of all the, the areas that probably need to develop chemistry. I think offensive line probably tops the charts. Titans have certainly made some changes there, bringing in Andy Levitri as a, as a guard, drafting Chance Warmack, probably be your other starting guard. But the problem is these guys haven't really been able to play together so far during the during the OTAs because of injuries. Levitri had a knee injury. Uh, Michael Roos had a back injury. David Stewart had a leg injury. So it's, it's still a work in progress, and now it's hampered a little bit more by the fact that Delaney Walker, uh, the tight end, is going to be out for a few weeks because of, uh, because of a knee injury. So... That's an area that still needs to come together, I think, for the Titans. It should be a much better group this year, uh, but it's going to have to gel quickly because these guys, as I said, didn't get much of a chance to work together at all during the OTAs. Yeah, and it's a group you know, that should do a better job of protecting Jake Locker than last season. He was sacked 25 times in 11 games. Everyone knows he had shoulder surgery at the end of the season. And, uh, you know, this is a critical season, not only for the Titans, but for Locker. And, and certainly people will argue that the, the season kind of hinges on how Locker performs. Last year in training camp, he battled with Matt Hasselbeck. He split the reps in, in camp. He split the reps in games. And now it's Locker's team, and he's going to get the reps. It should help him. So to have the offensive line, to have the receiving core that they have, when Delaney Walker's back, that'll be another weapon for him. Uh, Locker should be in a better position to be successful this year, even though he has a new coordinator in Dow Log and the guy he's familiar with from the end of last season. Uh, certainly is when he when he got his time as offensive coordinator. But uh, all eyes going to be on Locker in training camp as well. Uh, you know, if things go well, the defense will will not give up many points as they as it did last year, where Locker won't have to do everything. Yeah, I, I, we've talked mainly about the offense so far, but I think defense uh, is clearly going to have to make big strides next season. Uh, big issue, I think, for the Titans coming into training camp is they want to develop a more aggressive mindset. Uh, that's one of the main reasons that Greg Williams is here as a new senior defense uh, assistant. Uh, it's one of the main reasons Bernard Pollard was signed as a free, aid, free safety. Uh, I, I think this is going to be a defense that's going to greatly try to increase uh, sacks, greatly going to try to increase turnovers. Those have been kind of earmarks of a uh, Greg Williams defense over the over the years. So and I think specifically in terms of the pass rush, uh, I think you'll see Derek Morgan, Cam Wembley doing a little bit more rotation than they did last year. Both those guys played over 900 snaps last year. That's too much for both those defensive ends. So the hope is a little bit more rotation at defensive end will lead to a little bit more production in terms of pass rush. Yeah, and certainly training camps with training camp being a point, and certainly you got to check the Tennessean uh, on a regular basis. You know, Titans, uh, if you follow us both on Twitter, you know, hashtag Titans Insider. Uh, it'd be great to put with the tweets, and we'll certainly answer questions like we always do on Twitter. But also, you know, watch, follow Tennessean.com for videos, for, for blogs, for stories on a regular basis. The Titans fan guide is on there. It was in the print edition uh, earlier this week. It will be up there throughout training camp that we'll talk about, uh, you know, the developments of camp and uh, and what to look for. It's going to be a busy August, uh, you know, certainly end of July and busy August for the Titans ahead into the season. Yeah, I agree. And, and one other thing to, to point out in terms of our Tennessee and coverage this year, I would say look for more analysis than, than you've seen in the past. We'll be telling you 
not only what's happening, not only what's going on in the locker room and on the field, et cetera, but uh, why the reasons are for that, uh, how things are happening, and, and what's it going to mean for the Titans. So look for a little bit more of that this year as well. I'm sure we'll be back here on these uh, on this channel uh, previewing the season, you know, which is going to be here before we know it with, with the fast uh, – with the training camp that usually really blows by. So for Tennessee and colleague John Glenn and I'm Jim Wyatt, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.